So I do kind of want to go through it a little bit to uh, let, let folks know what we did, and you know, Mike's here to ask, answer questions as well. And uh, but what it does, again, it kind of demonstrates where what we've been doing with money. And as you guys know, we agreed to doing this in a, a two-year cycle, so we did fiscal year 14 and 15, and thanks everybody for providing the information that we did provide. Um, so starting the, the document, you open it up here. Uh, a little bit of language that uh, Ellen helped us work with to kind of talk about a little bit about what the committee is, what we do. And, um, Thank you for that, Ellen. And we have the list of the, the members in here with a very old picture. We tried to get an updated picture. We're not real really successful with that. And um, but yeah, so our intent is to do an updated picture today for those sitting at the table here. We'll try to do that. Um, continuing on, we have the IGBC objectives. And then some folks submitted some accomplishments and uh, appreciate the, the people who contributed to that and you'll see that on the next page there. And I know you just received this at your, your table this morning, so you don't have had a time to go and look through this, but please do. A little bit further, we talked about the uh, Wildlife Management Institute and our challenge cost share agreement with them and what we've been doing and kind of the uh, objectives and accomplishments there. We heard a little bit about the accomplishments yesterday, but now we have it in a, another format for all to see. Moving on, uh, page 10, we divided this into IGBC expenditures by agency and ecosystem. So we presented kind of the same information but in a variety of ways, from bar graphs to pie charts. People tend to uh, like to see things in certain ways, so we provided it in multiple ways. Pick your pleasure here, but which makes the most sense to you. Uh, we also broke it into federal and, and state, and each particular agency and state as standalones too with the various legal systems. So, kind of let you take a look at this, uh, ask questions, and kind of slowly roll through the pages here if you will. So, your, your graph says like <coughs> in 14, 15, so is that the, the sum of two yes. years? So that's a two yes. year expenditure. Yeah. <laughs> And that's what we have talked about in, in some way to do it in a two-year cycle. And again, it's presented in a multitude of ways as you kind of come through the pages here. And I'll kind of point out the, the, the car service here as, as I can. The car service <coughs> on page 12 and, and 13, you'll see you know, $4.4 million pretty much is what the car service has spent over the course of the two years on visit um, air management. That's, a, that's our total amounts. And then if you look at it by ecosystem on the next page on page 13, you can see how it's broken down per year for the individual ecosystems. We followed the same uh, method for all of the other agencies as well. <coughs> Going slow, let people look at it, ask questions. We have fish and wildlife numbers that were reported here too. Um, also took into account the fact that Fish and Wildlife Service does their states of uh, some money too, so we accounted for that in the states reporting. Try to 
account for administrative actions, research, fair conflict, habitat, ECO monitoring, education outreach, and education. And again, some of the agencies, uh, despite the tables that were provided, reported it and lumped some things together, so we get to look at the recycling and trying to figure this out. And our numbers um, are estimated numbers, so we learned to the best available information to this country. Um, I also had our budget 
folks in the Region 1 regional office query work plans for Regions uh, 1, 2, and 4, and 6 uh, relative to pairs and, and see, saw what came up, went through them. Uh, some of them were really clear, and it was really years. Uh, some not so clear, I tried to follow up with some of those. You know, as, as I articulated to Mike, we pulled this together. You know, I, it was the best attempt with, with the information I could get. It's, I'm sure it's not perfect and didn't capture everything. I don't know how it relates to you know, what happens to apples and what other agencies put in, but I think it's a, a good ballpark. Yeah, no, that's fine. I'm just, just curious. I didn't know if anybody had asked this or no. Yes, several emails were not asked for so other thoughts and let's kind of focus it on also on um, putting this information out there either on the website or using it internally but for things such as what Tony brought up in the joke about that. So yes, definitely. Just um, a comment if it goes on the website for like Nancy Me the tribes are not included or the DRC. So we have the Northern Montana agency not included. So not trying to think about the input not share what two tribes are contributing for their management specialists and then most of the department of natural resources and then and, and I can appreciate that. The MOU is uh, signed by the federal state agencies and the tribes that we're focusing on the agencies that are part of LGBC. And so that's what it's done. Yeah, I would I would suggest that as long as there's a qualifier that this is a real that I mean, this is ballpark estimate because there are folks that plan things very differently either in work plan or you know and I think if we look back what I recall Cam and folks was the discussion you know kind of even my first meeting the summer meeting we were signing the interagency agreement where we're all bringing a piece of funding to that and that did not reflect the overall you know, of all agencies. And this is my understanding this was an attempt to at least display some of that. Uh, the other piece this is all under FOIA available to anyone who wants that. I don't think there's anything secret in here. Um, it's I think it's just uh, just making sure there's a big asterisk every time we put numbers out. For whatever reason they tend to get challenged and people look at it back in the high, the low, but just the it is a ballpark, it is an expression of uh, the agencies uh they sign on here. So we, we do have a couple of disclaimers throughout it. Member show around the next thousand. We have that. We have all members and bodies presented in the court of the process based on the best available information. We, we did try to put several uh, CYAs in the document. But, but I'll say, um, you know, from the ballpark perspective versus a little bit of accuracy, some of the agencies really did put together some real, real time numbers that were, were pretty comprehensive. And, and others seem to. Um, more, more of a ballpark. So some of these things are pretty real. Yeah, I guess I guess I wasn't meaning to say we just estimate. I just think there's probably, depending on how we, the apples to apples and the ones we looked at, there may be some differences there. I completely um, trust that Scott did a great job of trying to get through that and the best Thank you. Other thoughts? So I think I heard, I think I heard that putting this on our website is something folks are okay with. Yeah. 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 And then um, for, for the future, we I mean, talked about this at the summer meeting, we agreed to have it be a two-year event. Um, I'm going to be here in two years to make it happen again. So I'll be left with the gym. But, uh, start working towards it again and, and uh, but I think it's a very very useful tool in, in, in a number of ways and when you actually see all the, the dollars that are being spent in all these ecosystems and all these different great things it, it's pretty impressive amount and despite the fact that we have some process hitches that were have been identified there's still a lot of really good work going on there. So, yeah. so one thought I just talked to Chris and, and I think uh, might be worth the agency's taking another look just to ground through the numbers because what Chris told me if you reported one fiscal year or two fiscal years, so so right up So it might be worth 
everyone looking at the numbers just to make sure they are accurate and then go through if we're going to post it or print this and distribute it beyond just this body and then just with another kind of ground truth in the Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Chris. So let's put it, if we can put a time frame to that, I would like to just say and post it. Um, uh, is it can people look at this closely, say by the end of the month? Does that sound reasonable? Get comments and give comments to Mike. And, and the dump piece in the And let's try to keep it to these numbers look reflective of what you submitted and other reports you're writing. If you only did one year, please, make sure you have both years. Does that sound reasonable by the end of the month? So we hope you're from this and we'll call this year. And then again, he can turn it around, you know, by January 2nd. Poor <laughs> guy. Just hey, there's thing. Christmas in there. Come on, guys. Get your nod in there by you know, by you know, sitting on the ground and then giving him a few weeks. Because, like I said, this took a lot of work. To do. And if he's got to make any changes, it's going to take even more work. So, uh, give us, you know, maybe end of January and you know, let you guys know that we need to change, if anything, and then we're going to make this happen. Sounds all right? Yes, right. And I, and I would suggest that once we do get it truth and, and then post it, that this is, is something worthy of a news release to get out to the public to let them know what's being done. So you guys can have information going on. Everybody okay with that? Yeah. Okay. 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 I'd work with the course and share. Yeah. Yeah. All right, good. Um, now I want to make sure that we all thank Mike for the look that went into this very long time. We are kind of moving along here. I've been asked to keep things going and, and early, but I've also been asked to make sure we have a lunch break. So those are conflicting asks. <laughs> so, um, what's the majority want to do? You want to have a break now for lunch and come back in about an hour? And then I think this will probably get done around 2 or 3 Can I do that? Come back. All right. Yeah, we've got one. We only have a few things left to do. So um, it's 1130 now. Can we all come back at 1230? Alright, let's do it. Yeah, you can be here today. Yes. So. Thanks guys.